It's funny, I was watching an old interview of John Barnes. He was talking about um, in Jamaica, he used to like German players. And it just it threw me right back to when I was young and I was the same, but we never sort of mentioned it. And um, at the time, my favourite player was Rainer Bonhoff. So, yeah, so that's what it's weird. That it, <laughs> yeah, it just clicks. I just remember Rainer Bonhoff, it wouldn't be Bonhoff because he used to shoot from 30 yards and it was score goals. So it was like for me, playing for Cologne, playing for Cologne he played for. But yeah, and West Germany, he always used to score goals. And Rainer Bonhoff was a bit of one I used to look forward to. So, so you've like, got a German shirt. I've yeah. got a German yeah. shirt, so that was my thing, you know. This is like gold us as a kid trying to get over the German shirt. So me getting all this German shirt and I play against Germany. So that was that swap from which game? You it would have been a youth game. It would have been a what was I to say? It would have been an under 18s youth tournament somewhere. And I would, you know, obviously the material so thick as well. Yeah, right? yeah, the old days, it's great. So yeah, that was me. Definitely. Do you remember who, I guess you don't remember who was I wouldn't know, no, you can't. <laughs> they might have gone on to be a big star. Exactly, you yeah, you never know all the players you're playing against, you <laughs> never know what they're like, you know, because like, I remember playing in the Toulon tournament or Kansas tournament when I was 17, and I was playing for England 16, and the other person playing for Italy was Maldini. And two or later on, someone said, you know, that captain was Maldini. He's better. I don't remember. <laughs> I was trying to think. I only had one Spurs shirt. <laughs> uh, the 1982 uh, top size so had a white one. So yeah, I had a tracksuit as well. I used to love the old tracksuit, the cock tracksuit. Yeah. Um, you had to get rid of them. Never got rid of it. Well, obviously, would have just. You would, have lo out, would have lost you, them. You weren't walking down the street in it. No, no. Well, when I was at Arsenal, obviously, I've gone by that size wearing football tops, and so yeah. So you've got an Arsenal share with you today. Is this, uh, this, is, uh, this is special for me because obviously um, I made my debut in the League Cup semi-final um, coming on for 10 minutes at Highbury and this shirt means a lot to me really making my debut you know finally saying you finally made it after so many years battling to get to the top you finally broke through uh, you know I've seen all my friends before me breaking the first team Tony Adams, David Rocastle, Gus Caesar Mike and Keon, they all made it before me, so so when my turn came, this is special. <laughs> I have got my <laughs> playing for Liverpool is is incredible, really. You know, one of them, at the time the most sexual, successful club in in Britain, and to play for them it is an honour to play for them. And is it obviously? It's a tough being there because you have to win the championship. That's all they ever cared about is winning the league. So you, you knew what he's up against. Um, obviously, to my dismay, I never won that with Liverpool. That's the only downside to it for me, I think. Not winning the league with Liverpool. Blowing it a few times. And, and the cup final suit. I've still got my cup final suit, my cream suit. Still got it in the wardrobe, sitting there. Some people burned theirs, some people just <laughs> gave it to the museum, theirs to the museum. But I've kept mine, I've kept everything. That's a fantastic memory for me, um, especially as a kid. You, that's what we ever grew, ever did was grow up to think about playing in the cup final, not a World Cup. Not, playing for England, yes, but to play in the FA Cup final, that's the most important thing at the time in England, yeah, being a kid. It's a bit sad too think of the modern game and the FA Cup's a little bit less important. Yeah, it is sad because the way they've done it now is just about money and um, and it's a shame because it's great because the giant killing as well, the small clubs come in to, you know, terrorise the big uh, big teams. And plus it was just, you know, it, everyone was watching it around the world. It was a great competition to be a part of. And even in Cup Final Week, you had the whole week you know, TV programs about based on the cup final. Uh, the, the good memories. Um, it was, it's always a pleasure to play for your country. Obviously, my debut was against that mighty, mighty team or mighty nation, Saudi Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> when a few of us made our debuts, as in David Seaman and a few of us made made their debuts, and we drew two two in Saudi Arabia. Um, there's always a lot of pressure when you play for your national side. Yeah. Nothing ever changes. You can unit they want you to play well. 
collecting shirts when I was younger. I bought shirts when I was younger. <laughs> um, as a schoolboy, I used to, you know, buy sometimes steal. That's how bad I was. Terrible. Shouldn't, kids do not steal. Do not steal from shops. Um, but as a player, we couldn't collect shirts because the kit man always took the shirts back yeah, at yeah. Arsenal. We never got no shirts to keep. I think it was in the more in European games that people swap. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Arsenal the won the Champions League. It was uh, against Austrian teams. Benfica. I swapped a few shirts Sorry. then. And um, obviously for Liverpool, I swapped the shirts. Oh, obviously this shirt means a lot to every Arsenal supporter in the land and worldwide because obviously after 18 years of not winning a championship, we finally won the cha league. The goal, as we've spoke about it many a time about the goal, is a bit of cat and mouse really, me and Bruce Grobler. Obviously the ball played from Lee Dixon to Alan Smith, he turns inside, he sees me running, puts the ball over to me. I sort of look thinking, last man's Steve Nichol. If I can get it over his shoulder or over his head, then I'll be up among, among goal. Hits his, hits his shoulder, hits me, and goes on the path to goal. Just me and Bruce Grobler now. All I'm thinking now is just show your hand like a car player. Once he shows his hand, then it's up to me to score, which I did. And every time now, every time now I watch it, my heart's in my mouth, thinking that Ray Houghton's going to tackle me. <laughs> it's kind of weird watching it, and it's so surreal. But yeah, great shirt, great memories.